check that out. That's a big theropod track in the lower Kayenta Formation near St. George, Utah. I'm out here with Andrew Milner from the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site, surveying for new track sites and checking on old ones that have been known, up, known about for a few years like this one. This was discovered in 2005. We found new track sites today. Andrew is one of a small handful of paleontologists who get out to the early Jurassic and Triassic rocks of Western North America on a regular basis. Because he works at the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site, he's stationed in this area, so he gets out with some regularity. There's like a small handful of people who are really focused on this really fascinating time period in the history of dinosaurs. We are actually working on raising money right now for the St. George Dinosaur Discovery Site for a new exhibit that we've actually been working on for a few years that we're calling the Dawn of the Dinosaurs. And basically what we're doing is converting a whole wall of the exhibit into this big long timeline that shows a bunch of awesome new fossil discoveries from the late Triassic moving up into the early Jurassic and kind of chronicling how the landscape and the ecology of animals and plants changed over that time. This is a really important period of time to understand because it's when the first large dinosaurs evolved. The exhibit that we're trying to create incorporates a bunch of these new fossil discoveries that Andrew and his team have found and puts them on display along with a big timeline mural that I illustrated. And part of what we're raising the money to do is actually to fund finishing the mural. I need to color it, which is going to take several months of work. And also, um, we're gonna, we need to be able to afford casework and lighting so we can display the fossils in a way that people can really see what the fossils are. And then we're going to display them so that you can see how the fossils inform our understanding of the paleo environment, the paleoecology of the early Jurassic Kayenta formation. So if there's any way you can help out, I'm putting a link to our GoFundMe campaign in the description of this video. Um, even just a little bit helps, one to three to five dollars, just a little bit of spare change from everybody could totally fund this exhibit in, you know, just a matter of days. I mean, I've got We've got 29,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, so if even just a fraction of you can pitch in a few bucks, we would reach our fundraising goal in no time. So thank you for watching. Uh, we're looking forward and excited to bring you new discoveries from the early Jurassic period. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys can help us bring this exhibit to life. Thanks for watching.